So, let me get this straight. The idea of procuring your own food, the idea of protecting habitats, investing in the land, the idea of traditions, the idea of taking your kids out and teaching them about nature, wildlife, what it means to respect the life of an animal. All of that is not important to the Andrews government of the state of Victoria in Australia. With this idea that a duck hunting ban is something that you are even considering. So that's where I have an issue and I think the hunting community has an issue is this idea of banning the practice. I don't think hunters have a problem with curtailing seasons, curtailing bags, even canceling a season if, it's a very big if, the data and the habitat conditions state that that would be the best course of action to sustain duck populations in Victoria, in Southeast Australia. Because let's be honest, if hunters were told, hey, because of a drought, because of X, because of Y, we think it is best for the duck population that the season is canceled, 100%. Every single duck hunter, every hunter, regardless of species, is going to say absolutely. So let me, let me couch things a little maybe with some data and some statistics to see if this is something that's just like, oh, this happened last year, so let's just cancel it this year. Has duck hunting been around in Victoria for quite some time? Yeah, it's been around since 1952. So you're talking 71 years of duck hunting tradition in the state of Victoria. Well, is the idea that, you know, you've got a five week season with four ducks a day, like that must be a lot, right? That must be a lot. Since 1952, the average season length has been 72 days. So if that's difficult to wrap your mind around, then that's more than two months, which means more than eight weeks, five week season this year. The average limit of a bag of ducks in that time frame is 14 ducks per day. It has peaked at 20 ducks per day, which is the highest it's ever been. It's never been higher than that. And this year it's four ducks per day. Again, hunters aren't gonna have an issue with season length or duck numbers in the bag if it's based on science and habitat and not just because, just because we don't like duck hunting. So it must come down to the number of ducks, right? There must be a small, more small population of ducks. Well, in 2021, the Game Management Authority of Victoria, which is the entity that's in charge of doing the science and the surveys around duck populations, said that the population was in the 2.5 million range. That number had a confidence interval of like from 2.4 million to 3.2 million. And that season in 2021, the ducks that were taken, there were 52,000 ducks taken. So if you take the population of about 2.5 million, 2.8 million, that's 1.8% of the population. So there's no way that duck hunting, the practice itself, is having a negligible effect, a negligible, a negligible effect on the duck population. So the idea that someone is saying that duck hunting is hurting duck populations is scientifically untrue. And you cannot put any credence into that kind of statement. If you want a little bit more data, a little bit more science, just rewind the clock to 2017 when 450,000 birds were taken because the season was very long and the bag limit was generous. If you take the same statistics of comparable numbers times the daily bag limit times the season length to equivalent some sort of survey of a duck population, that that duck population must have been greater than 5 million. This brings in the crux of the matter, again tied to what duck hunters want. Australia is known for either flooding, i.e. a lot of great habitat, or droughts, i.e. a lot of bad habitat. And so your duck populations are going to fluctuate through time. We get it. And so your season length, as well as your duck 
bag limit is going to change through time. Again, we get it. But base it on data. Base it on science. Don't base it on this deeply held belief that duck hunting is inherently bad. But what about the habitat, right? What about the thing that is needed to sustain ducks. The animal rights movement that is putting pressure on the Andrews government for this quote unquote barbaric practice of duck hunting, what are they doing for duck habitat conservation? I would argue they're doing very, very little in comparison to the duck hunters of Victoria. There's over 167,000 acres of habitat and wetlands in Victoria. There's over 80 wetland properties that hunters are investing in, building nesting boxes, Restoring habitat, restoring flooding regimes. They're the anti-hunters from their duck hunting conservation work. Have you heard of the heart morass? Just Google the heart morass. This beautiful gem and jewel of wetland habitats being restored because of duck hunters. Why are they doing it? Because they love ducks. Who has created more duck nest box habitat to create more ducks in the state of Victoria? I'll give you one guess. Hunters. Why? because they want more ducks. Let me flip it. Do you think if duck hunters were told you cannot duck hunt anymore, that they would continue to invest in wetland habitat, restoration, duck nesting habitats? Some would, but I think the vast majority wouldn't because the thing that they care about the most, the thing that they love the most, hunting ducks has been taken away from them. So why would you continue to invest in this thing that you love when it's taken away from you? Is that what you want? I think the science is clear. Lots of ducks, great habitat, but the game management authority said, no, we're gonna limit the bag. What gives? If you have really good wetland habitat and you have really good duck numbers, why are the duck hunters being punished? Why are people that are like retreating into nature to reconnect with their creator, reconnect spiritually, sort of check out of the rat race and get like a mental health check that uh, use hunting sort of to cure PTSD. Why are those individuals from a mental health perspective being lumped by the antis as being psychopaths? These people, these duck hunters choose to source their food from the wild. So is the Andrews government and the anti-hunting establishment saying, you're not allowed to do that anymore. We want you to go get your meat from the grocery store just like everyone else. Wouldn't you want someone who decided to become a meat eater to source their own food and know how it lived, know how it died, was respectful of the wildlife, went and got it, processed it and ate it? Isn't that what you would want? This idea, this idea of banning ducks from a legislative perspective is fundamentally against all of the basic human traits, sourcing your own food, building characteristics and looking after the land, looking after mother nature. Why would the government, why would the Andrews government be against things that are good societal things? Lastly, the Andrews government is calling for a review committee to review, let me read it, review the practice of duck hunting because they are deeply held views on the subject. I can tell you what those deeply held views on the subject are. You don't need a committee. You have people that are against the idea of someone sourcing their own food. You have people that are against the idea of eating meat. You have people that are against the idea of taking the life of something to sustain humans. That's it. They just hate the idea of hunting. But the benefits, societal, characteristic, habitat, wildlife, conservation, you keep naming them, are good for society, are fundamental traits of humans. Yet this very loud minority voice is telling you, is whispering in your ear, that this is bad. No, at its core, it's the most fundamentally good thing any human can participate in. So I hope that you reconsider Stick with the science, let the science drive season length and bag limits and keep hunting around as a tradition that invests in the youth, in people and what they do for the land.